Hey, Laura J.E. Hamilton here in my gym gear because that's really what I love to wear. And so for an intro video to say I would love for you to join along with me on a journey into yourself. I would love to guide you deeper into who and whose you are to lift the veils of BS, belief systems, many of which you inherited before you had a choice, and then others that you have accepted and adopted based on who you surrounded yourself with, which may not have been the highest grade of selection to what you could have. These are the influences that have created your current results, your present reality. And your reality is the realistic evidence appearing legit in tomorrow's yesterday. Well, what I want to suggest to you is you have an opportunity now to actually come on a journey to become the peaceful inner warrior that is within you just waiting to be activated that the peaceful inner warrior is the empowered version of the victim who will always be there. The victim simply lives in the shadow, wishing for the warrior to step into the light. And you, we, must be that warrior. One of the things that often, that often stops us from being that very thing that we desire more than anything is that cultural epidemic of nicety, being nice, people-pleasing parasites that undermine us and latch on to everything that we do because we feel like we must or we should. To should someone is to really crap on their desire. Because saying you should do this means that what they are doing or choosing to do is not what you would recommend. So they are not where they should be by your estimation and that is what your evaluation is letting them know. I wanted to share with you a poem that I read and these are the kind of things that I will share with members of my Patreon membership community because I feel like it is very important to me for you to remember your own greatness. And it is also important for me that you invest something into that experience so that it's not just me giving into the ether and then it's not you receiving another free thing that you don't value because we don't value what we don't pay for. It's no offense intended. It's simply that how many free videos Series have you signed up for and then not watched? How many free things have you received and not done anything with simply because you didn't have any skin in the game? Well, I dare to say that what I am sharing is too important for you to not do something with it. So I'm asking for a little bit of skin in the game in order to get a whole lot of value. And so if you want messages like this, then simply become a Patreon subscriber at one of my membership levels and then let me be your guide to transform your self-image and be the one that you love going to bed with every night and waking up to every morning or whatever time of day is your morning and night because all of us are different and that is the point. We all have the opportunity to choose what works best for us without attachment except to the greatest and highest good and interest for ourselves and the collective that we belong to. Realizing that we are not just us, we are energy, and energy is extensions of energy. Energy is interacting with other energy. We, people, individuals, are interacting with other individuals and people and then learning about one another through that interaction. What we must understand is that we must actually show up as ourselves instead of who we think we should be in order to authentically connect with that person. And this is the poem that Phoenix Nagig actually writes that I share with you now. One of the biggest blocks for women is very hard to see. It's a very culturally accepted personality trait that actually blocks her feminine flow, power, sexuality, and creativity simultaneously. 
completely. It is an ineffective safety and survival device. What is it? It's being nice. Its roots are embedded in ancestral trauma, but we don't even know it. We have just modeled it and accept it as normal. We may spend years working on our bitch energy, our anger, our shame, our pain, but this little devil is the biggie. Nice is not a woman's nature. Nice is a custard, cream biscuit. Nice is a pleasant afternoon out. Nice is a new beige sofa. Nice is a handbag. Nice is a doormat. Nice is not a woman's nature. When we begin to remember our embodied nature, we remember that we are a powerful force of nature, ever-changing, and that nature is love. When we begin to remember our embodied nature, we remember that we are a powerful force of nature, ever-changing. And the nature is love. But it's not nice. It's a force. That love creates change, transformation, holding, vision in us and in the world. Nice isn't sexual. Nice isn't sensual. Nice isn't wise as the dawn or as old as the stars. Nice is a walkover. Nice is shut down. Nice is conformed. Nice is not listening to her own inner guidance. Nice is a vice. An invisible bridle. And it grips at our cultural throat. Sometimes I am lost for words. Sometimes there is a lump in my throat when I go to speak a truth. Sometimes I swallow deep, deep truths and bury them, as I cannot speak them out loud. Whether that is in the street with a stranger or in relationship, and if 40% of women say sex with an intimate partner hurts them, then we are silent in bed as well. Nice was our great-grandmother's survival strategy. It kept us quiet, it kept us safe. But now, as we shift, it will make us sick. As the level of consciousness that rises on the planet, we can't hold on to those patterns anymore. Today, I stripped off and walked into the sea. I gave her my armor, the armor of my nice. Take it, I asked. I want my power back in my softness. I want to be free. Let me breathe. It is encouraged for you to do what is required for you to be all that you can be. And if that requires you to not be nice in an instant, as long as you understand that you are being not nice in that instant and why, and you feel okay with that and know you can sleep with yourself at night because of it, even though it, despite it, go for it. Why not? Why not? We have to realize that it is easy to take offense to something. It is easier still to realize that everything is a way to jar a pattern. It is time for us to wake up. It is time for us to stop being so nice that we continue sleepwalking through our own lives and realize we only get one shot at this. We only get one opportunity to do all that we are meant to do. So it is time for us to seize that opportunity and take the first next action now. Right after this video, look at your goals, which if you don't have written down, write down now. Your three to six month goals make a top 10 list between around five about five goals for between the next three to six months and then longer term vision, ultimately what you're going for. And then figure out what the next step that you need to take is and then take the bus there or whatever you need to drive there. Move yourself to that destination because even when you order pizza, you have to get up to answer the door. There's always effort required. Life is not a free ride. We have to always move ourselves to the next departure space in order to hitch the next opportunity, the next adventure. So 
Hitch well, my friends, and be conscious about what you're choosing, realizing you don't have to be nice. You just have to trust what feels best and most authentic to you, and that's what together we can help you remember. If you want to come along with this, on this journey with me, I would love for you to subscribe at www.ljeh.ca and be sure while you're here to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you receive uh, notifications. Make sure you hit that notification button too. Uh, make sure you get notifications every time I release new videos because there's going to be a lot coming and it's all designed to help you and really encourage you to step up into who and whose you truly are. I send you massive amounts of love and blessings. Laura J. Namaste. The light in me honors, the light in you. Thank you.